is naughty, naughty. <laughs> Julian, what, what are we doing? What? The hokey pokey, or some version thereof, are therein. Yeah, well, we can't, not now. What, don't tell me you're going to pull an ivy and go frigid on me. Uh, no, there is no chance of that. I am far too hot-blooded. Then what's the problem? I'm thinking. Oh, rule number one, never think during sex. Uh, no, no, seriously, Julian. And your father told you to destroy the relationship of Sheridan and Luis, right? Well, to say he's adamant about it is to put it mildly. To say I'm amorous. <laughs> yes, and then Alistair's? Well, he said he would reinstate you as his heir, correct? You're so correct, you take my breath away. Well, are you prepared for that? Ah, uh -huh. those phone calls I made earlier. Get dressed. What? Come on. We can take care of the Sheridan and Louise situation right now. Rebecca, no. Julian, the sooner we destroy them, the sooner you will be back to being the Crane heir. Any idea what we're gonna do about this? Yeah, we're gonna go back in and get the kids. No, Sam. Sam, it's too dangerous. Look, I've got no choice. We can't lose you too, Sam. Look, I'm not gonna stand here and do nothing. I've gotta try. Sam, you went in there with those shields and you barely came out alive. Grace, I failed the baby that we lost. I can't fail our daughter or our niece. Now, I've gotta take a shot at getting Kay, Charity, and Miguel out of there. 
I can't just sit here and watch the house fall in on them. Let's do it. Louise! I'm with Sam. No, please don't. Uh, count me in, too. Nope. No way you're going in without me. Sam's right. We have to give it another shot. Just tell me what you want me to do, Chief. Let us all think about this, please. There's nothing to think about. Look, we're not giving up. No, you're not giving up. You're accepting what you cannot change. There is no way you can help the children. Father Lonigan is right. It is out of our hands now. It's in God's hands. He had an angel send a strange creature to us. That creature is the only one who can save the children from the flames of hell. You're sure we can be zapped, nixed, destroyed? Yes, small creature. You truly should have known there was a catch. There's always a catch. The fact that you were created by evil means there could be dire circumstances if you try to rescue Charity. Evil could attack you and end your very existence. Uh, I don't understand, Father Lonigan. What creature? Who is it? I don't know, and I doubt if I ever will. Because if he does save Charity, Miguel, and Kay, then, in all probability, he himself will be destroyed. Oh, you're happy. It's all on you, Timmy. You did this. Timmy couldn't let Charity be destroyed. I told you not to mention that rat's name again. Timmy would have done the same thing for you, Princess. Oh, and instead, you signed my death warrant along with your own. Come on, Charity! You two can't we're gonna get out of here! Keeping the galvanic! More explosions! Is it my imagination or are they getting closer? What's happening? I have no idea. Something big from the sound of it! What's happening now? She doesn't understand! Why hasn't Charity come out of the hell for yet? Miguel! I don't know how much longer I can hold on! Timmy? Demons make people suffer. It's part of the job description. But Timmy thought the claw was supposed to save everyone that was trapped and destroy the evil. Look around, you lad. Evil is being destroyed. But these things take time. But maybe something's gone wrong. Maybe the claw isn't working at all. Maybe Timmy didn't Miguel, help me! I don't think I can hold on much longer. You have to! Wait! Just a little while longer! I promise! Help me! beg to differ with you, Rebecca. Back in my library, that was exciting. Oh, I just love all this hugger-mugger stuff. <laughs> oh, you feel my heart racing. Oh, you have such a large heart. But you know, hugger-mugger can be played at home. Cops and robbers, bang, bang. <laughs> Later. First, we have to take care of some things here. We have... Uh, oh, my. Yeah, uh, you can look. No touching. Mr. Crane, long time. I was uh, kind of surprised when you called. Never mind all that. It's a pleasure, ma'am. Real pleasure. As I told you on the phone, I have another job for you. Same deal? It's in spite of your brilliant uh, impersonation of Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. <clears throat> I was using Sheridan. So my sister Sheridan really fought for your performance on the wharf last night. If she didn't, I'll eat the buttons on this uniform. <laughs> I just stuck to the script your father sent me. Said it word for word. Cranes have used and abused my family for years. Now finally got a chance to use one of them. Spoiled Princess Sheridan. 
What a waste of talent. You might have been a thespian. <laughs> you kidding me? I make a much better living this way, thank you very much. Well, I'll just see to it you destroy all the evidence, the uniform, the mask, even that uh, computer-generated mold of Luis's face. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Well, you better, because if Luis ever found out what we've done, there's no doubt in my mind he'd bring down the entire thing and fire. <laughs> yes, despite that, my sister's gotten herself involved with Luis again. No kidding. And that's hardly something I would kid about, trust me. I do trust you, Mr. Crane. When you say the check is in the mail... You'll just you listen to me for a moment. We can all go on about our business. Now, your assignment is really quite simple. I've hit upon a plan to split Luis and Sheridan up once and for all. It will necessitate your impersonating Luis again. Hmm? No problema. Service, Mr. Craig. Be careful. Oh, yeah. Please come back to me. Hey. <laughs> you should never worry about that, all right? I'll always come back. I love you, Louise. Okay, let's do it. Come on, we're running out of time. How are we gonna get around all this fire? Hey, I'm gonna call the fire department. I'll see if I can get them to get a couple trucks over here, huh? Yeah, maybe they can put out the flames. That's a good idea. Oh, it's worth a try. I'll make the call. All right. What is it? What are you thinking about? I'm just watching Sam. And he's so determined to save his daughter and niece. And my brother. Yeah. I mean, it could, it could be anyone in there, and he'd risk everything to save them. That's Chief Bennett. If I were trapped in hell, Julian would never risk his life to save me. Not even when he thought I was his son. He didn't He'd bad. probably hire someone to save me, but he'd never risk his own life. 
Chief Bennett will keep everyone safe, right, Mom? He knows what he's doing, honey. They're all so brave. God bless them. Yeah. Miguel going into hell to help rescue Charity. His love for her is so strong. And Kay offering herself to the demons if they let Miguel and Charity go. When you love someone, you'll do anything for them. Anything. And now the people we love need our support more than ever. We have to do whatever we can to help the men get the kids out of there. Let's go! Oh, no, you don't. What are you doing? Have you no conscience? Let go of me! How can you be like this? Like what? So unaffected by everything that's going on. Of course I am affected by this! Then why don't you stop being so damn selfish? Stop continuing with this evil! What are you talking about? We were trying to break up Sam and Grace's marriage, and that's evil. Stop talking like that. I won't until you say you're going to give this up. All I am trying to do is help. And all you're going to do is cause more pain. <sighs> Sam was mine long before he was Grace's, and I want him back. And I will do whatever it takes to make that happen, and you can't stop me. So just be I tell you. Uh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear he was Luis. Oh, he will certainly fool Sheridan. <laughs> he already has. Yes. He, uh, definitely measures up. Oh, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, why don't I lay out my plan so we can all get out of here? Lay away. <laughs> you see, <clears throat> Sheridan believes that Luis loves her and he's completely devoted to her, and unfortunately he is. But if Sheridan's little love balloon were to be punctured, say, if she walked in on Luis in bed making love to another woman, she would never forgive Luis. She would feel used and betrayed. Oh, it's too delicious. You see, I know my sister. That would definitely put an end to Sheridan's relationship with Luis. The ergo, I'm going to arrange for Sheridan 
to discover you in bed with a beautiful woman. Ooh. Now that sounds like a good plan. Yes. Uh, one I could definitely be up for. Yes, yes, yes. See, the only thing we're missing, however, is the beautiful woman. Yeah, well, I can't help you there. And to make it believable, she'll have to be stunning, drop-dead gorgeous. Works for me. She also has to be someone we can trust completely, someone who'll never tell the truth to Louise and Sherry. But who? I have the perfect person. Well, she'll definitely keep her mouth shut, and, well, she is devastatingly beautiful. Who? Me. before the demons come back. Hold on tight. Oh, no. Timmy, the brats are coming. Jimmy's safe. Total disaster. Tabby, come on. You mean Tabby have to hide? We don't see them. Will you stop pulling at me? I can't do it. Jimmy, everyone involved in this. Uh, why not? After all, now, the whole bloody town might as well know I'm a witch. Thanks to you, we're both going to be destroyed. Quit saying that! Well, home. We're finally home. Oh, I never thought I'd see it again, but we're here. We're actually here. Thank you, Mom. Thank you so much. We can't stay. But we've got to get out of the house now. Come on. Yes! Jerry saved! There's your bubble boy. My sweet Susie is anything but saved. You heard Damien? Oh, those kids have just got a reprieve, that's all. They're still going to die. No one is going to get out of this house alive, Timmy. Believe me, no one. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to pick up Chad's gear. You know what, you know what? Why don't you let me get Chad's gear and you can help out one of the other guys? No, Whitney. I'm getting Chad's gear. He's my boyfriend. You know what, about Chad, there are some things You that heard you... me, Whitney. Chad and I are together. He told me he loves me, so back off. All right, look, Simone. You know what, now is not the time for me and you to be discussing There's this, nothing okay? to discuss. <laughs> Chad loves me. We're gonna talk about this later. If you have anything to say, Whitney, say it. Let's get everything out in the open right now. Oh, that ought to do it. I know I've already said this, but I'm gonna keep on saying it until this is Don't over. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Promise me. Look, nothing's gonna happen to me, right? Nothing's gonna take me away from you. I love you too much. I want Ethan and Chad helping with the hoses. They're gonna cover us by dousing the fire into Fisher so we can get over them and into the house. Then when do we go? When the water looks like it's working. Ready? We better go now. It looks like it's working. The flames are starting to go down. That's a good sign. I hope. Are you ready? Come on. You're volunteering to be the woman that Sheridan catches in bed with Louise making love? Well, I'm willing to make the sacrifice for, for you and for your family. Some sacrifice. We'll discuss this later. Right now, I want a friend here to get totally prepared for the job. You just tell me where and when. I'll be in touch and soon. I'm going to put an end to Louise and Sheridan's relationship before it goes any further. Oh, there'll be 
worse, you'll see much worse. Timmy, they don't make tracks. Go home. We're safe. Whatever fucky that is. Uh, how many times must I tell you, Timmy? It's no use. <laughs> There's no way out now. Evil is going to destroy this house and everyone in it. I hate the one down It's not much longer. We're goners, and so are those brats. Well, saving them from hell didn't do any good at all. They're gonna die anyway, we all are. No! Oh, there might be something I can do to save myself. What about Jimmy? After what you've done? Oh, I doubt our friends in the basement will lift a finger to save you. Not that they have fingers. Anyway, I think, I think, I can persuade them to save them. Evil! I beseech you, return my powers to me! None of this is my doing. I'm not responsible for any of it. It's him. It was Timmy. Tell me, brother, Timmy, I'm like this. And he did it all on his own. I don't deserve to be destroyed. Please, I beg you, give me back my power so I can save myself. And then I can make certain that evil continues in harmony. And I can finish all my fiendish plots, the ones I've set in motion. I don't want to miss all the horrible events that are yet to come. What the Jimmy? I want to be here to see the grief and pain visited on the full folk of this doom town. Please, I beseech you, restore me my powers. Don't move if you hurt. Anybody hurt bad? No, I'm fine. I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're all okay. Thanks. Man. Look, I'm not getting into this with you right now. Not all people's lives are at stake, okay? But you and I will talk about Chad later. Sam. <gasps> oh, Father Lonigan. I'm disappointed in you, Ivy. Why did you ignore my warning? I, did. I told you there was evil here in Harmony. And as long as you continued on the course you were taking, lives would be destroyed by your hand, and now it has come to pass. Well, you think I did this? No, but you are opening up yourself to the evil that has infiltrated Harmony. Your pursuit of Sam Bennett can only cause more pain, more destruction. Haven't we had enough already? Father, I am very, very sorry that all of this has happened, but I, I'm just gonna leave all the heaven and hell stuff to you. You're always talking about family staying together and, and commitment to relationships. It's what holds our society together, gives our life meaning. Well, Sam and I had a commitment, and we have a child. All I'm trying to do is reunite us as a family and keep us together. The one you should be talking to is Grace, because she's the one who came between Sam and me in the first place. All right, same game plan. Ethan and Chad, you guys are gonna douse the fire so we get back in, all right? Let's go. Oh, Chad, I was so worried about you. Hey, I'm fine, I'm fine. Look, you're so brave. Look! What is it? I see the kid. Gary and Terry and Miguel, they've escaped from hell. Oh, girls. My mom! Where? He looks like he's okay. I was wonderful. They're free, do you see? God bless them. Oh, they made it! Oh my god, they made it! They walked right out of the hellfire! <laughs> you gotta believe. There's Charity and Kay. The worst is over. You're gonna be all right. 
Thank you, Lord, for sending this small creature as your instrument of rescue. Come on, guys, let's get him out of there. Miguel! Miguel, it won't be long now, all right? We're coming in. You just keep the girls calm. Charity! I'll spray the water directly in the house, all right? Keep the flames back so we can get in there. Let's go! Sam, it's not working. We can't go in there when it's like this. We no. have to. The kids are right there. It's no good, Sam. We won't last 10 seconds in a blaze like that. Come on, we have to. We can. There's no way. You are so bad. <laughs> oh, and I could be much badder at home. In fact, much, much badder. Oh, the dealer said this baby would do 180. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to hurry back to the mansion, Pookie. We can have fun in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? well, what's wrong? Sam's a fine, though. Looks like a roadblock of some kind. Huh. Officer, what's the trouble? Road's closed. We're not allowing anyone through. Well, I'm not anyone. I'm Julian Crane, and I must get home. Pressing business away. It's over. Sorry, Mr. Crane. The entire area is closed off. There's something going on at the Bennett house. That's all I know. Mm. Sam Bennett figures. Well, since we can't go home, why don't we uh, park the car? Head over to the Bennett's and see what's happening. Mm. Wasn't Ivy on her way over there? Yeah, she was. Who knows, maybe Grace went berserk and poisoned them all with a tomato soup cake. They'd finally be free of Ivy. I know it's too much to hope for, and yet... Well, I think this is about more than a poisonous dessert. Something really strange is going on out there. their problems, the bond between Sam and Grace is as strong as ever. It's just emotion with the kids. It won't last. When this is all over, Grace will just keep pushing him away, straight into my arms. You're terrible, Ivy. No, Eve. I just want what is mine. Sam. All right, everybody, stand back. I'm going in. Sam, you'll never get through those flames. Look, I've got to try. Sam's right. We can't just leave him in there. All right, please. This way. Ready? <laughs> Luis, down here. Come on. Okay? It's all around us, the fire. 
fire. My dad and the others can't get to us. We can't get out. I'll find a way, I promise. Is that an earthquake? I think if something works.